Hi guys, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the new 2021 dice, which is just sitting there behind me. This is a great kite for those of you that are looking for something to perform in the waves good for unhooking and my personal favourite as you probably know which is strong wind, extreme big air and mega loops. Now I've been riding a sea kite most of my life for, for big mega loops and slowly I've just come round to the dice and I wanted to share my feelings why I've done that and how it really works for me. Uh, to start with it's, it's very stable. Now you want a kite in strong extreme wind that keeps its shape very well and the dice certainly does that. But what I've really noticed about the dice is it just gives me that bit of D power that I was missing from the Vegas where I just needed to calm things down a bit. It might be berserk windy and, and the wind is often gusty in that strong wind environment so D power is something that I get out of the dice which I really love. One of the things that I've really noticed changed to 2021 from the previous years is the feeling of the kite especially the weight of the kite with the new materials that we have now it's much lighter and it's a bit more precise you can really feel every sort of millisecond round when you kite loop and mega loop a kite, which is, is very important when you're high up and you're taking big risks. You can feel everything now. They've even taken the weight off the pigtails, which has made a massive difference. So I do feel that this has been a change from the previous years. A subtle change, but one that you will notice a lot. No problems flying my kites all the way up to about 11, 12 meters on the small click bar. I have enough control and and speed in the kite that that's no problem. There's a lot of fine tuning that you can do with the dice as well and you'll see some great videos from other riders on how you can do that. Certainly whether you put your steering lines closer to the trailing edge or you bring them into the middle or to the front makes a huge difference. Take the eight meter for example, it's a very quick kite. I don't need it to turn too quickly. If for you, you're learning your mega loops and you want something to turn quickly high above you to give you that confidence that the kite's going to get back up to the top and catch you, you're going to want the fastest steering setting right down to the back of the trailing edge. For myself, I want to slow that kite down. So I'm actually going to ride it further forward on a bit of a slower setting that's going to need a higher bar pressure for me to get the kite to go round and the idea of that for me is that it goes low and round. With something like the 10 meter however though, I need it to get going quickly so I might push that back towards you know, the trailing edge right at the end there so that I get you know, light bar pressure and I can really manipulate that kite round. I really like to have a square tip in my kite. It's something I've been used to from flying sea kites from over the years and the dice really is that perfect blend in between having just a little bit of a swept design to help the kite move forwards maybe in the gusts and the strong wind but it's still square enough to provide you with really good lift when the kite maybe isn't just above you. Sometimes we're parking our kite at 45 in the air or after a mega loop it might even be a bit low and you want that top tip to still provide you some lift and some feeling just to make sure that you come back down safely. Lastly, I wanted to share with you the feeling that I get riding this kite. Certainly in the UK type of conditions where it's really strong, it's really intense, it's extreme. Those, those experiences to me are my number one passion. When I'm riding out to sea and I'm lining up one of those big kickers for those big jumps, I feel like every time this could be the jump which takes me up into the clouds. And that's a feeling that I think you should have as well. If you're not, you know, if you're not getting this feeling from your equipment, then you want to change it. Like you've got to have that feeling of unlimited possibilities that this could be the one that takes you up in the cloud. And I get that from using the dice.